So next we'll look at the muscles of the abdominal wall. Uh, the most superficial one is the external oblique. So that would be in this area here coming from between the serratus anterior muscles along the back and all of this area here this would be your external oblique muscles. The external oblique muscles then they, they stop at about this area here form an aponeurosis and the aponeurosis then forms the rectus sheath which will cover the rectus abdominis muscle. The rectus abdominis muscle doesn't just end in this area it actually continues upward and attaches to rib 5 to the costal cartilage of rib 5 so it comes all the way from rib 5 down to the pubic bone down here. Although the rectus abdominis is a single long muscle it is divided by tendinous intersections into one, two, three, four uh, groups of muscle. So it's the same muscle but it's actually been divided into uh, four muscles by these tendinous intersections coming from this aponeurosis of the external, internal and transverse abdominal muscles. The muscles here, again, the most superficial one is the external oblique but if you cut the external oblique and reflect it, the next layer is the internal oblique and if you cut that and reflect it, the third layer is the transverse abdominus muscle transverse abdominus muscle so you have external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominus and all of which give off a aponeurosis that will combine here and then that aponeurosis will form the rectus sheath that will surround the rectus abdominis muscle so that will become more clear in my next diagram but for now we need to know that there's three layers of muscle here that is exactly the same thing that we saw in the chest there are three sets of muscle in the chest between the ribs, the intercostal spaces the external intercostal, internal intercostal and then the innermost intercostal together with that uh, transverse thoracic and subcostal but it's more important the innermost intercostal so three layers in the chest and three layers in abdomen in fact those three layers of the chest as they enter the abdominal region they will give rise to those three muscles three layers of muscle in the, ch in the abdomen so the external intercostal will give rise to the external oblique internal intercostal to the internal oblique and the innermost intercostal to the transverse oblique if we take a cross section of the abdomen so anywhere for example here so I want to show you so if we take cross section here above the arcuate line we should be able to see this view here so we have the external oblique internal oblique and transverse abdominus muscle of the abdomen and uh, here two muscles so here's the vertebra the lumbar vertebra and the muscles of the back these are the rectus abdominis muscle so the, the muscles here and here seen from the top two of them and what you can see here is that these three layers of abdominal muscles give out these uh, tendinous these thin tendons called aponeurosis that will uh, join together and form a sheath around the rectus abdominis muscles. So let's just take this portion here and zoom in on this area. And what you will see is something like this.